Jeff Tate says that he doesn't expect a reunion of Queensryche's classic lineup to ever materialize. In April 2014, Tate and Queensryche announced that a settlement had been reached. After a nearly two-year legal battle where the singer sued over the rights to the Queensryche name, after being fired in 2012, fellow original Queensryche members Michael Wilton, Scott Rockenfield and Eddie Jackson responded with a countersuit. The settlement included an agreement that Wilton, Rockenfield and Jackson would continue as Queensryche, while Tate would have the sole right to perform the album's Operation Mindcrime and Operation Mindcrime 2 in their entirety live. During a January 24th appearance on Sirius XM's Trunk Nation with Eddie Trunk, Tate was asked if he is hopeful that a Queensryche reunion will happen someday. He responded. Uh, it's like walking around New York, you know. It's, that was a time. And uh, it doesn't mean that that time has to go on forever. Uh, there's new times to be had. You know, and there's, uh, there's more music to be made, there's more songs to be sung, and, and more audiences to play music for. But you and I both know, as long as the original five of you, thankfully, are still alive, there's always that interest level. Is there any interest level from you, and do you see any scenario where the five of you could ever come together, even for a benefit of any sort? Do, do you, is there any side of you that would welcome that or is hopeful for that? Uh, hmm. Honestly, not really expecting that to happen, basically because we've been offered um, just obscene amounts of money to get back together and do one tour. One tour and we'd never have to tour again. And, uh, you know, a couple people in the band turned it down. You know, they, they're not interested in doing it. And so that would really be, I think, the only motivation that would get everybody together was an obscene amount of money, but that didn't work. So <laughs> you know, there's really no, no hope for it after that, I think. Well, you're being incredibly honest there because, I mean, so many times when people talk about reunions, it's always like, well, if the wind blew the right way, and, the, and we all know at the end of the day, if the number came in and it made sense that some people would jump at that, it's sounding like you were open to it then, but others were not and kind of squashed it at that number. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'd say that. And that, you know, uh, and, and there you go. It's uh, money is not the motivator, you know, and uh, getting together for an artistic dream isn't a motivator either. So what do you have? You have nothing. So, you know, it's uh, obviously both camps are, are happy in the position they're at. And I know for myself, I, I, uh, I love my life. <laughs> I love what I'm doing. And I love traveling and playing music with people. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm still kicking it at 63, still happy and, and healthy, you know. Uh, we did hold it together for years and years and years. And uh, it, it was uh, a really, really tightly run ship. And it was... Uh, very lucrative and we had a lot of great records uh, and did a lot of world touring made a lot of friends and uh, played a lot of music together you know and, and we had our time and uh, I'll always be grateful for that time that we had Tate previously described his time in Queensryche as a strange strange sort of relationship he told the metal gods meltdown we weren't really friends you know we were business associates. We had a wonderful entity that we shared called Queen's Reich, but it wasn't an equal sort of partnership as far as involvement goes. You know, so there wasn't a real camaraderie amongst everybody in the band. From my perspective and my involvement, it wasn't an emotional sort of brotherhood kind of thing that some people might think existed. That wasn't my reality with them. Last year, current Queen's Reich singer Todd LaTorre told Paltrocast with Darren Paltrovitz about the chances of Tate's return to Queen's Reich. It's funny. I always hear, there'll definitely be an all-original lineup reunion. Every band does it. And I'm thinking, if you knew what I know, I don't think that's gonna happen. And other than the optics of it, why? What's the point? We saw for 15 years what it sounded like. In October, Rockenfield, who stepped away from Queen's Reich's touring activities in early 2017 to spend time with his young son, filed a lawsuit against Wilton and Jackson, alleging, among other things breach of contract, breach of fiduciary duty and wrongful discharge. Rockenfield also claimed that Wilton and Jackson did not include him in the recording of Queen's Reich's latest album The Verdict, despite his availability and willingness to participate. 
Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.